Hi everybody, it's Julie. I have a quick Goodwill haul. This is from the Goodwill in Ojai. When I went to visit my parents, my mom and I went and went to the little Goodwill in Oakview. And I picked up this. And I don't know yet, but I'm thinking I might put washi tape in it. Something, it's going to go right up here in my area. So, um, anyway, I thought it was really cute. It looks kind of, kind of, it matches my decor. So, yeah, so I picked that up. And then I got this, um, Let All That You Do Be Done In Love, Corinthians sixteen fourteen, And it says teacher on the side, but, um, I ha I, I really like these, um, note papers. So I picked that up for nine, no, dollar ninety nine. Um I got these and so these are little cards. Little cards. And envelopes. You get 18, six each of three designs. So you get 18 cards and envelopes. I like the size of them. And the, the envelopes are decorated with little dots. So I thought those were fun. And then, then I'll have this cool little box here as well after. I use it so um, I got a Melbourne's game and this was from the 1960 or this was the 1971 1971 so vintage Melbourne's I didn't have one. I have a brand new one for playing, but I didn't have one for my my stuff. I picked up this book, Enchantment, The Life of Audrey Hepburn. Um, I like the book. I think I'm actually going to use the book for the journal. I'll use the dust cover. And there are pictures. The center is full of pictures of Audrey Hepburn. So, um, I have been collecting, um, various Audrey Hepburn items, and, um, I thought that that would be a fun book journal to make, and so now I have my book to do it, and so there we go. On the back, it has um, quotes about her. Um, I got this book, and it is copyrighted 1925. I um, won't be able to use this, my digital stuff, for a year or so. But it has flamingos and parrots and great, great um, poems. So this will go on my shelf. I'm going to take this sticker off because I don't want it to to ruin what we've got going on here. I love the inside cover of this book. Yep, see? Stupid stickers. Um, I love the inside cover too. Very, very cool. So that will go in my old book collection. Someone Cares, The Collected Poems of Helen Steiner Rice. Let's see, the book is very, very, very blue. It's a guidepost book, and it has poems by, by her. And many of them take up one page, which is one thing um, that I usually am looking for is... Um, when you can find it where it just takes one page. 
so you can just cut the page out. But um, So I've got that to add to my uh, inspiration collection, Living with Passion and Purpose. I'm always looking for a, a Bible study book to do and um, for myself. So I picked that up. Uh, here's another one of my Elements of Harmony. It, it's from 1890. So, a music book. I wish it had pretty inside pages. <laughs> I need I need some in pretty inside pages, but there we go. Still digging over here. I got a Mary Ingle Bright Nursery Tales, a treasury of um, children's classics. So great illustrations by Mary Ingle Bright. And um, I am putting together some Mary Englebright stuff, so um, I thought it would be fun to have these. Good writing hood. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Mary Englebright Nursery Tales. Um, This wrapping paper, 1996, but it's got the apples, and cherries. That was really kind of cool. Um, this one also with the children playing, playing dress up, tea party. And then this one I just thought was really pretty. Really pretty. So, so I picked that up. And I love that their children's books are 79 cents. I got a Brambley Hedge, the autumn one. And, um, again, great images. The little mouse. The mices. The mices. And this is the cover. Um, this isn't a very old book. Let's see. Uh... Published 1980. Copyright 1980. Um, but, yeah, the Brambley, the Brambley Hedge. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite book that I got, aside from the really old book. Um, Birth of a Forest by Millicent E. Selsom, illustrated with pictures by Barbara Wolf and with photographs. So this was a library book. At one time, we're going to take the... sticker off. Okay. It was a discard. And let's go ahead and get these. At least this part out of the way. Okay. So great pencil drawings. Look at this. Look at this. Text copyright 1964. Picture copyright 1964. Arnez Elementary. <laughs> yeah. So look at this little pond drawing here. So there are photographs as well. And it's talking about how, you know, there could be a series of ponds. And here it is again. This great picture. The pond picture. Let's make a great pocket. And, oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful. And then look at this. Floating seeds, berries, seeds with hooks and spines. Seeds with winged extensions. So they float down. Oh. Here's the bottom of the pond. Some more pond pictures. Look at the little snail, the dragonfly, and another snail, and the cattail. Look, it's actually 
coming apart like cattails do. I loved this book. There we go. The fish are now mud species like black bullhead, a catfish. Look at that catfish. Look at all the little ones. <laughs> now we've got cattails with some lilies in it. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Iowa. The pond has gradually become a marsh with only small areas of open water left between advancing plants. So the plants grow up. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Isn't that awesome? And now we've got trees. More trees. This is what it looks like at the bottom of the forest. The centipedes and the lizards and the frogs and the birds. A little chipmunk and a squirrel and a raccoon. And a chipmunk. And there's squirrels and there's a deer. I'm sorry, I, I just, this book just really amazed me. Look at that map. And a farm. So that, that is that. And look at that great teal colored paper there. We'll be able to use that as well. So that is Birth of a Forest. Still have a couple more things. Okay. I got a hardcover golden book, Pokey Little Puppy. I'll be sending this to our granddaughter. I've been sending her um, little hardcovers of different books. And then I did get a pokey little puppy golden book also. So there. Oh my gosh, I loved this. Shadow and the Halloween Party. So Shadow is the cat. And it's, look at this inside and this inside page. Is that not just absolutely the cutest little kitten? It's from 1995. But I just thought it was absolutely so cute. Look at him. He's got a friend that's a mouse. <laughs> They're going to a Halloween party. There they get to the Halloween party. So anyway, thought this was really cute. And um, looking forward to using that. The thingamajigger is coming today from the cat in the hat. It does have some coloring in it. Um, but that gives us another golden book. And the Tawny Scrawny Lion. And at the store, it was uh, senior day, so I got senior discount. And children's books are only 79 cents. So these were like Fifty-nine cents each. This time, I, I mean, I've paid way more. If I find, like, if I'd have found this book somewhere else for more, I'd have paid it. Cause, you know, penguins. We have to have. How do penguins play? Sea otter. So this is the penguin. How do penguins play? But it's telling you about all these other ones. Penguins like playing king of the hill. And it tells you about all those other animals. So, that's that. And, okay, this one's called Day is Done. And it is this bear. And look at these. It's so big. The illustrations were really, really cool. So we got some deer over here.
and it's, um, it's thick paper. So I was even thinking that like this mushroom page and this fox page could be uh, covers for um, for journals or travelers notebooks. This is a beautiful page. Look at the little mice. We got owls up in the tree. And then there's the story on CD. I didn't even notice that. So that one's called Day is Done. Again, 79 cents. Oh my gosh, this book was really cool. So it has this giant chicken on the front and on the back. And it's Hedgy Surprise. So it's really about the hedgehog. Well, there was a speckled hen who laid an egg every day, only to have it taken away by little Tompton every morning. It all started because the Tompton got tired of porridge for breakfast. So here's the little hedgehog. Isn't this a great illustrated and with the little cross stitch or along with it? Look at it. There's the little hedgehog over there again. There he is. Yeah, Goosey Goose. The little hedgehog over here. I just think this is adorable. I mean, even these would just make amazing, like, borders and pockets and tucks and things. So. Very, very cute. And so, um, I don't have it in here, but I also, I got a hedgehog at the other Goodwill. <laughs> I did. I got a little hedgehog. One of those ones that, that are made out of, um like wood pieces, shaved wood pieces and stuff that they're everywhere. So there, our hedgehog. Our hedgehog. So I thought that was adorable. Just absolutely adorable book. So that is, oh, there's something else in here. Something else in here. Oh, we have a Charles, a Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's a Please Read Me book. Illustrations by Eric Bel Belgvad. This is what caught my eye: the swing. Um, and so it had. It's a Random House picture back. Copyright 1978. So here we have the the um, a garden, the garden of verses. See all around, and so it's all different kinds of. And there's the swing. So I want that for a book that I'm making for myself. I've been collecting um, swing uh, stuff. We have at the seaside. I just think these will be awesome to go into. Oh my gosh, the shadow. My shadow. I remember that from being a kid. Bed in summer. There we go. Pirate story. Where do the boats? Where go the boats? <laughs> Pirate stories. Singing rain. Oh, I... I like I said, I got it because I saw the swing on the front. <laughs> uh, a child should always say what's true and speak when he is spoken to and behave mannerly at table at least as far as he is able. So, the world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. So that is, that is my Goodwill haul. Um, this was from the Goodwill in Oakview. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very small Goodwill. It's one of the ones where it really is a collection center more than, and they just have a little tiny store, but they have great books sometimes. So, um, yeah. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. What was your favorite? My favorite still, Birth of a Forest. I thought that was amazing. Uh, thank you for being here. Have a great day. Bye.